everyone, thank you for stopping by. My name is Ed Shara, and today I will be sharing my Borrow a Thon TBR. Now, the Borrow a Thon is a readathon for the books that you borrow. It was created by Riley from RM Thick Fact, and round three starts at midnight your time zone, November 5th, and ends at 11.59 p.m. your time zone, November 12th. There are several hosts for this readathon, as well as some scheduled Twitter sprints and live shows. And Riley mentions those in her video, so I will leave a link to that down in my description box. There are six challenges for this readathon, and they are to give an author a second chance, start a new to you series, read a book with five or more words in the title, read a 2017 release read a book you find in a library hall, and read a book that features a library. So to start off, I have Full Moon by Jim Butcher, and this is book two in the Dresden Files series. This series follows a wizard and paranormal investigator named Harry Dresden, and he uses his wizarding skills to help people solve cases that have paranormal elements. I read book one earlier this year. Um, it was okay, but I wasn't really impressed enough to continue the series. But after speaking to a bookish friend, Jen, um, she said that the series does get a little better as it goes. So I am going to give it another try. So this book will satisfy challenge one. And Odd and the Frost Giants by Neil Gaiman and illustrated by Brett Helquist is about a boy named Odd who after a series of um, bad luck incidents, he is tasked with saving Asgard, the city of the gods. This is my first Neil Gaiman, so I'm pretty excited. And this will satisfy challenges three and five. A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. This one I don't know much about just because I do know it's very popular here on booktube and I don't want to get spoiled. Um, the most that I know is it features multiple Londons and I'm okay with that. Um, this book will satisfy challenges two, three, and five. Then Close Enough to Touch by Colleen Oakley follows a librarian who is allergic to human touch and after hiding out for a few years she ends up getting a job at her local library where she meets a recently divorced father who has an interest in having a romantic relationship with her and this will satisfy challenges four and six. The Wrinkled Crown by Anne Nesbitt is about a girl named Lenny who does something that she is not supposed to and instead of the consequences falling on her they fall on her best friend who is taken away and so Lenny has to go on a bit of an adventure to try and get her friend back. Um, I read a book by Anne Nesbitt or tried to read a book by her earlier this year but I ended up DNFing it. So I'm going to attempt to give her another chance. So this book will satisfy challenge one. And then I have Matilda by Roald Dahl. Um, this is about a girl named Matilda who is a genius, but she is raised by some pretty dumb parents and they treat her horribly. And as she works with one of her favorite teachers, Miss Honey, um, she starts to realize that she has some magical abilities. Um, I've seen the movie for this one quite a few times, even though the last time was a while ago. Um, but this book is supposed to have a library in it. For the life of me, I can remember that Matilda reads a lot, but I can't remember any library scenes. So if it does have a library in it, um, which I'm sure it does, uh, this will satisfy challenge six. And then the last one that I have is Holly Farb and the Princess of the Galaxy. This one is about a girl named Holly who along with her teacher and a boy from her class that she doesn't particularly care for, they are all kidnapped by aliens because the aliens assume that Holly is a princess that they've been looking for. And this book will satisfy challenges three and four. So 
I do know that this is a pretty ambitious TBR, but I think that if I pick, I think it's three books, they will fulfill all six of the challenges. So I am going to start with those three first and then see what else I can get done. And this is my first time participating in the Borrow-a-thon, so I'm really, really excited. And if you are participating in the Borrow-a-thon, let me know down in the comments below what you're reading. Um, I'd love to hear from you. And that is it for me today, guys. Until next time, God bless. Bye.